Everybody, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's around 10, 15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, November 4th. Coming on here with the latest on our new tropical depression, Tropical Depression 18, that has formed this morning over the Caribbean Sea. You can see the system gradually becoming better organized. We've had data from the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunters out there this morning that shows that it has become a tropical depression now. Maximum sustained winds are around 35 miles per hour. Right now, the uh, center of the depression is uh, just under 200 miles to the south of Kingston, Jamaica, also about 400 miles to the southeast of the Isle of Grand Cayman, moving off toward the north at nine miles per hour. So we are expecting the depression to strengthen and become a tropical storm later today as it takes on a more northwestward track. And that's going to bring the center of the depression near or over Jamaica uh, overnight tonight and into early Tuesday. And then we're expecting the system to continue strengthening and be at or near hurricane strength as it moves over the Cayman Islands uh, late Tuesday and Tuesday night and uh, move near the Isle of Youth and over portions of western Cuba as we go from wind Wednesday into Wednesday night, and we now have a hurricane warning in effect for the Cayman Islands, tropical storm warning for Jamaica, a tropical a hurricane watch in effect for much of western Cuba, including the Isle of Youth, and a tropical storm watch in effect for both coasts of the island of Cuba to the central and east central portions of the island. Uh, beyond that time, we are expecting the system to remain a hurricane as it moves into the southeastern and uh, central Gulf of Mexico as we go from Wednesday night into Thursday and Friday morning. However, we are expecting the environmental conditions conditions over the uh, northern Gulf of Mexico to be less conducive for strengthening and we are expecting the system to weaken somewhat uh, to a tropical storm by the end of the five day forecast period somewhere in the vicinity of the north central Gulf of Mexico. The forecast out, out of these extended time ranges four to five days from now is even more uncertain than usual given that the system has just formed and we're likely to see some pretty substantial changes to the in intensity and structure of the storm late in the forecast period that will affect the ultimate track of the system. So let's talk about impacts. In terms of impacts, we're expecting those tropical storm conditions in Jamaica very soon. Hurricane conditions are expected in portions of the Cayman Islands uh, by the time we get into uh, Tuesday and Tuesday night. And then hurricane conditions possible in Cuba during, uh, during the day Wednesday. Also the potential for two to four feet of storm surge above ground level along the south coast of Cuba within that hurricane watch area, including the Isle of Youth. Uh, again, there is the potential for some impacts farther downstream in the Florida Keys and up into the north central uh, Gulf Coast that we'll cover in just a minute. On the rainfall front, remember rainfall is one of the biggest hazards from tropical storms and hurricanes in the Caribbean, expecting uh, rain Fall totals of three to six inches across Jamaica with isolated totals as high as nine inches, especially along the south coast. A little more uncertainty here farther downstream with three to six inches isolated amounts as high as nine inches in portions of the Cayman Islands, as well as portions of Cuba. The exact rainfall totals there will be dependent on the exact track of the system. But these types of rainfall, especially in Jamaica, could cause life threatening flooding and landslides with that heavy, heavy rainfall. Uh, let's look now at the time of arrival of those tropical storm conditions getting into Jamaica. Uh, later this evening and overnight, reaching the Cayman Islands during the day on Tuesday, reaching Cuba Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, potentially reaching the Florida Keys uh, as we go through the morning hours on Wednesday. And it's possible we'll issue a tropical storm watch for at least the lower portion of the Florida Keys later today. Uh, if we go on and out, look at the full length of the forecast. If we do see tropical storm conditions reach the north central Gulf Coast, it would be much later this week from the Thursday night into Friday time frame. Now again, so the message for farther downstream along the north central coast of the Gulf of Mexico is just to keep an eye on this system and monitor updates to the forecast as we go through the week. We are expecting some heavy rainfall to be pulled northward along, especially along the east side of the system uh, by the mid to late portions of this week with heavy rainfall possible across portions of Florida, adjacent areas of the southeastern U.S. Too early to get into specific rainfall totals, but there will be at least an isolated risk of flash flooding developing over these areas as we go from Wednesday onward through the remainder of the week. So uh, again, let's go over the key messages for Tropical Depression 18 this morning. Uh, first, I want to remind everybody, especially in the United States, now that we've come off of daylight saving time, uh, the advisories from the Hurricane Center now come out at 4 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m., 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, an hour earlier in the central time zone. So now that daylight saving time is over, those products will be coming from us a little earlier. So hurricane conditions are expected in the Cayman Islands Tuesday, possible in portions of Cuba uh, early Wednesday. Uh, risk of dangerous impacts from hurricane force winds and storm surge in those areas. Interest in the Florida Keys should monitor the progress of this system. 
We could issue tropical storm watches for portions of those areas later today. Uh, again, forecast to enter the Gulf of Mexico as a hurricane, uh, but it's uh, too soon to know uh, exactly what types of impacts there might be along the north central Gulf Coast, so residents there should just monitor updates to the forecast. A great reminder that we still got the whole month of November left uh, for what's left in this hurricane season. And then on the rainfall front, we're expecting to see uh, areas of heavy rain across the Western Caribbean, including Jamaica and portions of Cuba, where we could see flash flooding and landslides possible uh, in these areas. So uh, for more information on the uh, as we go through the rest of this week, you can always come back here to hurricanes.gov. Uh, for areas and in international areas in the Caribbean, you can get more products from your local meteorological service. And in the, in the United States, you can get more information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. We'll be back with you with more updates on this system throughout the week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.